What's going on everybody? Mike McIntyre here from All Things Sports back with a brand new video and today I have another review from the Adidas Uniforia pack. We have the X19 Plus right here in studio. If you are interested in these boots, be sure to check out that first link down below and give a huge shout out to Evangelista Sports for sponsoring the video. If you're interested, click the link. Use my coupon code MikeATS for 10% off your next order. Be sure to check those things out and let's get into the review. Okay guys, here we go. X19 Plus from Adidas, part of the Uniforia pack. 19 Plus, you get a fancy box, slides out. Inside you do get a string bag, so it's white with the X graphic on it, Adidas logo down there. Mesh string bag, we've seen that before. Let's get into the boots. Boom, here we go. So these are nice. These are really, really nice in my opinion. I've been talking about the colorways of the Uniforia pack in all of my reviews. These are nice. I really do like the way these look. I've always been a fan of white, black, and pink boots. There's just something about these three colors that works really, really well together. I've had a pair of my own in terms of this colorway at least. Uh, if you are interested in seeing what they are, check out my collection, my football boot collection video. I did that a couple months ago. Check out that video to see which boots are in this colorway of mine. But these are sick. I love the way these things look clean white base i love the pink accents here and there with some black here over here with the stripes they look really really good in my opinion definitely my favorite colorway from the uniforia pack it looks really really good now the boot itself we've done a ton of reviews on the x19 plus there's nothing new here we are set to get a new x model actually they might change the name apparently but i mean once we get into the summer months of the year they usually drop a new 20 of the X model. So we'll see what they do, but this is probably one of the last colorways of the X19 Plus. Upper first, it has this X lace skin upper. It's a speed mesh base wrapped around with a silicone coating. They call it the X lace skin upper. You do have this tongue material here where the laces would normally be. It's not as stretchy as I would like, but it needs to be like this in order to provide you with that lockdown given that there are no laces. It is very thin. I do prefer the upper of the X19.1 compared to the X19 Plus. It's just a little softer, a little bit more flexible, and it has a little bit more of a padded feel than this one. This one is very, very thin. Not quite as thin as a Mercurial, but right up there. I've always criticized the collar a little bit, or I should say the heel tab. I like the fact that they have that padding in there. They used to call it this 3D claw heel. I like the fact that there's a lot of padding in there to give you that lockdown, but I always found that this went up just a fraction too high. But other than that, it's not a big deal. And then of course we have the speed frame sole plate. This is killer. It's one of my favorite stud patterns. Studs are all in the right place. Speed bar running through the middle. One piece sole plate. I think I prefer that. I don't need these two piece designs, but they do, in all honesty, I don't notice the difference in feel between a one and two plate design. A one piece and two piece, I should say, just because they still fill in that middle portion right there underneath the midfoot. There's nothing else really to talk about. It's a very thin boot. It does feel good. And it's definitely the best looking, in my opinion, from this uh, this pack, this Adidas pack from the Euphoria pack. So we're going to slip them on feet, talk about fit and feel, and we'll move on to that part of the video. So slipping the X on feet, again, I've said this before, I would personally prefer the X19.1 over the X19+. Plus. I just find them easier to get on. They're a little bit more comfortable from right out of the box. They have a slightly more flexible upper. This one's a little bit more rigid. Understandably so, it needs to be given that there are no laces, but just go for the laces model if you're someone like me, if you prefer to dial in the fit a little bit yourself. And gives you that slightly more flexible and padded upper. It's not as rigid as this one. But other than that, they do feel the same. If you want a pair for yourself, go true to size. No doubt about that. They're slightly narrower than something like the Nemesis. I've said that before too. If you are on the narrow side of foot types, you can go for the X, no problem. If you are on the wider side of foot types, you might be better off in the Nemesis. It just offers you that fraction more room to get your foot into and it does feel a little bit more comfortable. This, on the other hand, it's not too narrow. Put it that, like, I can get my wide foot into it fine. It's not like a Mercurial where the Mercurial is just impossible for me to actually wear. These, I can live with it, but the Nemesis does feel a little bit better on my wide foot. They look good, they feel good overall, no stud pressure or anything like that. True to size if you're interested in a pair for yourself. And that's pretty much it, I don't have anything else to say really. Again, I'd like that heel to be a little bit lower, but the padding on the inside does provide some decent lockdown. I just don't want that tab to come up quite as high as it does on this one, but we'll see what they do on the new model. 
that is it for the on feet look. We'll send it back to the desk and we'll wrap the video up. So there you have it. X19 Plus in the brand new Uniforia Pack colorway. Very, very good looking colorway in my opinion. I love the way these look. White, pink, black. They just look really, really good. I want to know what you guys think. Please leave that down below in the comments section. Let me know what your favorite boot is out of the Adidas Uniforia pack. If you have a comment or question, please leave that down below as well. I always get an answer out to you. Hit that like button. It always helps the video out. Let's get this video out there. We're going to grow the channel. And last but not least, do whatever it is you have to do. Please smash that subscribe button. I need you guys to get on board with the channel. Follow me for more videos. There's going to be some new content coming out. Thanks to Evangelista Sports for sponsoring the video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Mike McIntyre, all things sports. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.